friends this is the morning in odessa after the uh, sirens we pack in the, da the van for Kherson. people are in need it's no power no water so we are getting food getting generator and max we just put in efforts to help This is Kherson. We are at the gates of the city. Kherson is the city on the south side of Ukraine. And I can tell you this five weeks ago, Russians were here. And the city was deliberated. And now we go to center. When the Russians left, even though they said this is Russian city, they start to immediately bomb uh, the city every day. Every day they're destroying uh, the infrastructure of the city. And you can see the people are really just not many people here. Just uh, it's a lot of things happen. So we're going inside the city. We're going to go into... We're going to go into... We're going to put the vests when we come to the city. So, Vasily is driving with the vest. <laughs> now we are uh, at the location of the church. So you can see uh, it's the oldest part of the city. And people are really freezing right now. <laughs> it's cold. You can maybe you can hear the uh, the sh uh, shelling. So there's a bombing or whatever it is. Uh, Russians about two and a half miles away from from here. So here we are at the place where the, we did we deliver the um, wood stoves. And uh, it is more people of the congregation here. People. Shalom. So we are working hard and uh, delivering. We just put the, uh, all the uh, ammunition and the, <laughs> some helmets, some of the uh, west, so it's okay. Ten minutes ago, the rocket just shot it here, yeah, here so, so this is oh, right here. Yeah, so we go going back to uh, Odessa. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. 
This is it. How could we explain it to other people? The whole of the world. It's unbearable for some. I can walk, I can see just just around me. It was somebody's business. Somebody's life. I think this is just people's homes, cars. That is devastation. We got to the village where they're all almost every building, every house was damaged by Russian rockets. I have to wear the the vest <laughs> bulletproof just to be sure that it's okay not to walk on the side and um, we're about three hours driving to back to Odessa. We delivered food clothing delivered a generator and uh, wood stoves uh, and hope people will survive this winter yes cold you can see the breath uh, and I'm looking at this and I can just imagine what really happened here lifeless no people somewhere young people old people are leaving yes the war it's a horrible thing and I want to thank you Jewish partner initiative partners you have been partnered with us for several years and you've been a part of saving people's life not only through the preaching but with the efforts of humanitarian aid humanitarian relief i want to thank you every one of you big givers or small it doesn't matter every penny is worth it and i will say it's we really 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 need your help through this christmas holiday and i hope you'll be with us help us to bless people in ukraine especially with, with the wood stoves with the generators with a bunker for safety and we hope the russian Federation will stop the war soon. Please pray with us. We love you and we want to say may the Lord bless you and keep you. Be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance over you and give you peace. Shalom.